Hey guys, it's OKB, and I'm here with, well, the stream role of the Coffin community. So if you guys want to join me on these sort of talks, um, I randomly stream just random times. I try to make it random times, but there is this, uh, I don't know, it's hard to say. Just go to the role request uh, in Discord, and if you haven't, if you don't have a Discord, join in the uh, descriptions. There's a link to Discord. Coffin Hub t uh, Community Discord. All right, you can ask for the stream role, and I'll... Uh, I'll notify you of all streams. If you only join Discord, then I'll only um, notify you of the big streams and also videos. All right, if you want to join us. And then uh, make sure to go over down to Coffin Army text chat to talk. And also the Coffin Army here to voice chat if you want to voice chat. Or, or you can just listen. Right. Okay. Um, also, if you guys want to learn how I get my ingots as usual, Coffin Ingot channel. Uh, I suspect this channel is going to be bigger than... The coffin element channel because well there's just a lot more people interested but this is how i get uh the cash to spend on the coffin element channel just to get the planet monthly cards and monthly cards in nardo online so if you guys want to check that out i show you my methods on there benefit hall planet monthly cards monthly cards like i can't log in every single day so it helps me like recover some of the coupons that i lose i just did a fuku on here too so i don't know if i'll have enough coupons for the next fuku i hope i do but we'll have to see okay now Nero hashirama has breakthroughs right and we were mentioning this in stream and had a whole bunch of ideas also some future ideas with ashra which has breakthroughs in the future so uh it's a couple things to look out for but new hashirama breakthroughs is awesome and i actually think I don't know if what's better. I think New Hashirama Breakthroughs is probably a little bit better than Edo Itachi, even though they're just different. Um, Edo Itachi Breakthroughs are simply different from New Hashirama Breakthroughs. Uh, they're just using different scenarios right now. But yeah, New Hashirama, I honestly think that Hashirama is better than Itachi, even though Itachi is still pretty good. So I have him four stars. So you guys remember I did the Fuku last time? Um, just like a... 35k was it and i got new hashirama as one of my uh, ninjas and it was spot on because the next uh the next week or was it like t the second week after new, ha new hashirama breakthroughs have uh basically came out and they're pretty good I, I saw them on china or these lacona proxy website and i was like oh that's impressive they might come out in a couple months but hey, it's coming out now. And so that's making me think that maybe Ashra breakthroughs will come out even earlier. Because like all these breakthroughs that you're hearing from China, you know, usually they take a while to come here, but it seems to be speeding up a little bit. So uh, go get some Ashra. I'm going to make a video on Ashra at some point. Um, you know, getting Ashra breakthroughs from uh, which has been in China. It's going to be crazy. It's going to take probably take over Susan Shisui. Uh, as the meta, but I don't know if there's anything before that. So, not 100% sure Ashra is going to be the next thing, but I, there's a high chance there is. Nero Hashirama, on the other hand, already has some counter abilities, but it's also not very, uh, they're not very helpful with their descriptions of their abilities. Like, for example, this mystery skill here. You guys see uh, 8 combo, so rest immunity to 3 units, which is nice. Additionally, re reduce this lineup chakra limit to 40, which is actually pretty nice too, because oftentimes. Limiting your chakra to 40 uh, could limit your opponent's support abilities. All right. Last until the end of the next round, which is awesome. Now, the selected unit will suffer from Gracious DD Gate Seal Level 2. What is What what does that mean? They don't tell you. They also don't tell you in the Y skill either. Gracious DD Gate, level, gate Seal Level Y. It's like they want you to guess what it is. Now, thankfully, we have the Konoha Proxy website over here. Uh, to kind of tell us, it's not always, it's not 100% accurate, but it's usually accurate. Um, so we can figure out what the heck those abilities are. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look. So Tori Seal 2. I'm going to click on this and let's go over here and check. So Tori Seal 2, units under this debuff cannot use their mystery skills. All the damage caused when having the debuff will be guaranteed critical hits with zero injury. So zero uh, injury is basically how much damage you deal with your critical hit. Um, zero, zero injury. Basically, all damage will be hit locked at 1.5 times normal damage, but um, not much more, which is good against a position, position one. So that's actually kind of nice. Uh, last until the end of the round, which is irremovable and ne neglects immunity. Now, I don't know if this is affected by control, but if it's not, then it's a really powerful ability uh, Ability that I think it, it feels like Jinpachi when Jinpachi Breakthroughs came out. You know, with uh, he had this... What was this? Discharge Force. 
yeah, I think this might hit, hit through immunity status and might not be affected by control, which would actually make him really good and a really powerful counter. So, uh, yeah, Hashirama is the deal, all right? And I, yeah, I'm gonna get some breakthroughs on him later, uh, for sure. Skill trials, I consider his mystery the number one thing. Number one thing you should get. You can discard the rest if you want, but mystery for sure, all right? Um, okay, so that's Tori Seal two. What's Y skill on Tori Seal? So. Uh, the Y skill, let's see, units under this debuff cannot use their standard attacks. Goodbye, Six Pass Naruto, right? Now, you can also uh, use your use the mystery one on Six Pass Naruto and then use Edo Madara because Edo Madara basically counters Six Pass Naruto at this point. And so Six Pass Naruto is officially out of fashion, kind of. I mean, you can still fight against other Six Pass Narados. It still costs some extra coupons to get Edo Madara. So, I mean, yeah, I and mean, there's also the people who o always goes for power, who sticks with six pass Naruto, gets a whole bunch of power, and then just focuses on power so that you overpower your opponents, even though your ninja is worse. Um, this could shut that down, but uh, we'll see, because Nuri Hirzen um, does counter six pass Naruto with his defensive ability for himself only, though. Uh, so it's kind of like Eri Tachi protects the entire team, but Nier Hirzen, protect, uh, Nier Hirzen protects himself with his uh, immunity ninjutsu, which is on the bottom skill that you'll see later. But yeah, basically just this critical rate to uh, critical rate, always crit always giving them critical damage, but their injury is locked to zero. That's pretty strong for people who really stack their injury to like a lot more than uh, your other ninjas. All right, so. It shuts down critical abilities. It, well, not completely shuts down, but it does kind of um, stop up your opponents from using critical hits as a weapon. Pretty much. Okay, so yeah, that's what the Tori Seal thing is supposed to be. Now, let's go over to the other abilities, which don't matter as much. Uh, let's go with Standard Attack. All right, and Standard Attacks, let's see, plus one. Uh, standard Attacks is probably my least favorite. It's still good. It's still good, but it's just my least favorite because people are not, uh, I mean, I guess you can technically suppress immunity. I just don't know if that suppress immunity is effect is like, it's affected by control. First of all, there's also do chase dodge and those, there's also ninjas that like, they don't have immunity to status. They just reflect status effects. And so that doesn't work against people like that. That, that, that includes Susan and Shisui. I mean, technically this mystery skill will still uh, be very powerful against Susan and Shisui, stopping his standard attacks. Um, in round one with all the extra stand attacks you might get from taijutsu hits uh, So that might be pretty powerful, but his mystery you can only choose one or the other right the mystery or the standard attack um, Which will lead to his chase to scale so the, all three the three threats you want to pick the one that helps the most and it's probably going to be the standard attack um, But hey, he's he's still reflecting uh, status effects. So this enfeeble, which is supposed to lower attack and injury due to 75% of your base, that's that's okay. That's good against supports, but then the supports don't deal that much damage. So it's whatever. You're hitting four to six units, increasing damage, which might be okay in arena, but not outside of arena. It's whatever because you're not really going to stack him. Um, and then the Y skill is also a three combo. So he causes enfeeble to three to four units in your team. Causes high chance of causing knockdown. I mean, this is just more for the... Well, I think you even had a high chance of knockdown even without the break use. So you can ignore the standard attack if you want. Um, that enfeeble might be good in arena, but that's just it. Only arena, All right? Okay, the chase. Uh, knockdown low is actually pretty nice. So increase that mystery, unit's chakra mystery cost by 20. Stackable until the end of the round. Uh, that's okay. Now with the plus two, uh, you have that, but you also absorb chakra. All right, so you increase their chakra cost. You also absorb 100 chakra. And if the guy is suffering from Gracious Deity Gate Seal, the skill is modified. And once again, they don't tell us why. what is modified. They should just tell us in the descriptions and not make us figure this out. <sighs> Thankfully, we have Kona of Proxy. And now let's go to Proxy over here and take a look at what the heck is being modified with this chase. Now, it might not be 100% accurate, you know, once again, but it should be correct. Um, if this unit is suffering from Tori Seal, it changes into Chase Knockdown Cause Low, Irremovable Poison, and Irremovable Strong Poison, neglecting immunity debuffs. I'm going to assume this is not affected by control. Um, so you're just dealing extra poison damage. So I think green is the strong poison. Like, it's... I would cause it, call it toxic, but they call it strong poison. 
whatever. Uh, but it's just extra poison damage, right? So a little bit extra damage, not too bad. So the Y skill, uh, what is the modifications if they are affected by this gracious deity gate seal thing effect? Tori seal, not wires, whatever. Well, the effect is also removable poison and strong poison. So it's just extra damage. And I actually prefer that extra damage to Enfeeble because Enfeeble has a high chance of not working against your, pos your opponent's position one because chances are they, well, I mean, if you can suppress immunity and it's not affected by control, then this is a really good ability with Enfeeble with a standard attack. But if it's not, if it if Enfeeble doesn't work uh, thanks to control, which I think is true, then it, it's not that helpful, right? You don't care about like lowering people's attack and energies by up to uh, to 75% if you're only hitting the supports because the supports are not attacking or dealing real damage. Or if they're dealing damage, they're usually using the status effect, which is not affected by attack and ninjutsu. Now, it might lower their healing. That might help. But it's not that much of a deal, 25% of uh, someone who's not stacked. Okay, knockdown low. Uh, Tori's seal. Okay, Tori's seal. Why is just extra strong buffing and stuff? Strong poison and poison. Okay, so I I prefer the chase a little bit more. Uh, passive, at the beginning of every... So, previously, uh, Hashirama, one random ninja, will have their debuffs canceled at the beginning of every round, heal based on his ninjutsu, and then have the tra chase trigger time increased by one until the end of the round. With a plus two, you you also get... First of all, you restore your chakra element to 100. So if you're fighting against another new Hashirama, okay, sure. Um, and you can increase your hash you can increase Hashrama's initiative by two percent. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're fighting against Edo Itachi or some other sort of control, I guess that wouldn't matter. Um, up to ten percent, right? That's okay. Uh, if you're if you're having a battle of control, who's going to control first? I guess that would work, but it's not that big of a deal. But it is somewhat could it could affect uh, the the battle sometimes, not often. Additionally, all ninjas in your lineup will have debuffs canceled, so that's everybody. Everybody has debuffs canceled, every debuff canceled, and healed based on 15% of base ninjutsu. Ooh, that's kind of nice. So you're healing and you're removing all debuffs at the beginning of every round. You also increase the chase time for everybody until the end of the round. That's kind of nice. Now, it doesn't stack. I don't think it stacks. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really stack, but at least it's kind of like Toshin Shira increasing everybody's chase time by one. Um, it doesn't stack, but you're constantly having that as long as he's well, activating this passive ability at the uh, beginning of every round. So that is kind of nice. And there's a lot of, you know, chase abilities that either buff. So Susan Shisi has a really stacking chase ability. Uh, Tendo's Obito does. Um, Madras, not so much. I mean, 6 pass Nano technically reduces their resistance, so kind of. Things like that. But yeah, this extra chase does help. Okay. Okay, and the Y skill is similar. Uh, restore your chakra limit to 100. Increase his initiative by 2%, only in Hashirama. Additionally, himself and one random ninja will have all debuff canceled and heal by 15%. So fewer, only him and one other person it will have his uh, have all that healing. But they will have their chase trigger time increased by 2, which I because this is random, I don't like it. All right, and unless every single chase in your lineup is useful, like having Gamakiri on your main character, having you know, Toshan Shiraya use his repulse, unless it's something like that, I don't think this is that good. However, um, the why you want to use this? Well, probably the knockdown low or knockdown high. Oh, that's right. I I almost forgot to mention the chase. Chase knockdown cause high. That's the, that's the difference between a plus two and Y. I keep missing this because this usually doesn't happen. Um, I think this is the first ninja that changes the um, changes which uh, which changes the low or high or something. Um, yeah, so far, yeah, that that's why I kind of missed this. But yeah, plus two is chasing knockdown cause low. Uh, this is chase knockdown cause high, and it's it's still modified. It's still it's still modified uh, the same way. So. Okay, um, Peace Pursuit, okay, at the beginning of every round, increase, where was I? Okay, heal 15% damage, increase chase time. So, it's really just for the chases, it's really just for, um, if you need to chase an extra two times on your Hashirama. Uh, uh, usually that's the case, usually that's why you want to use this ability. Other than that, just, you know, increase your chase time by one for everybody, right? Uh, but yeah, it's more for himself. And why, you, why would you want to do that? Well... Increasing someone's mystery chakra by 20 
until the end of the round. It is, it is stackable, so if you use it two times, it's... What, what is this? Three times, technically? Uh, how, tra trigger time increased by... So you'll basically increase this guy's... Uh, if you hit this one guy, you'll increase his chakra cost by 60, which is actually kind of insane. And that's not to mention that you're lowering his chakra limit to... Uh, <laughs> You're lowering his chakra limit to, what was it, 40, right? And so if the guy basically can't use his mystery at all, that's kind of, that's pretty, ooh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's actually kind of OP. Though you, there's a lot of conditions to activate this, but you, you're basically guaranteed to um, stop the guy's mystery unless he removes the chakra limit thing. Uh, which does change your eye does, but the, this is all at the beginning of the round, so maybe for the entire round if you activate it. Yeah, it's on and off. We'll see. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this. So this is my number two for uh, what you want to do. I mean, he heals himself. He increases his own initiative. He heals everybody by 15%, which is actually 15% ninjutsu, which is actually pretty nice. And increasing chase. I like that more than the other bunch because um, it's knocked down low. So number one's mystery. Number two is the passive so far now let's talk about the second passive right it's just he's immune to debuffs when he's attacked recover two percent hp this is simple um he gains level two immunity to debuffs with the plus two and reduces his own cooldown by one recovers two percent hp when he's attacked kind of like how moderate is except he heals a little bit more i like that so you can technically use his mystery again and again and again every single round right uh that'll be actually pretty awesome so if you do this, probably go for the standard attack so they can stop a standard attack every single round. Uh, there's no guarantee that you'll be you'll be hit like two times because this there's a three round cooldown. So um, by round two you'll have one you'll have one cooldown, uh, two cooldowns left, and but your opponent has to hit you two times uh, in round one for him to use the mystery again. So it might not be good, but maybe if you use your standard attack one and your opponent uses a mystery attack then you can shut down a standard attack again. So, yeah, things like that could work. Um, it's not a complete... Yeah, it, it's helpful. It's There are some holes in it, but it's actually still pretty decent. There's a good chance you could use his mystery every single round. Y skill, he means the debuffs and pure ninjutsu damage. Whenever he's attacked, recover 2% HP. Whenever he's hit by pure ninjutsu, recover 20 chakra. I don't, I'm not sure you need that, but maybe you do need the chakra sometimes, so... Yeah, it depends. Um, yeah, I mean, he's not immune to pure ninjutsu damage, so unfortunately that doesn't work. Oh, no, he is. He is. from. So he's immune to debuffs and pure ninjutsu damage, and he's recovering chakra. He's, he's just not recovering uh, life based on ninjutsu. So that is basically against 6 Fast Naruto. 6 Fast Naruto is dead now <laughs> with Nirohashram around here. I'm going to use him in Sage and see how he goes. Hopefully I'm strong enough, but uh, this kind of is a little bit weak. But yeah, this is... Uh, this this basically shuts down uh six pass Naruto. It it just does. So yeah, if you guys want to see me shutting down six pass Naruto, if there are still people running six pass Naruto there, we're well, uh subscribe. We'll take a look at what's gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna do some experimentals, put some music over it, and maybe a team. May, maybe we'll do some teams in arena. Maybe not, depending on how long the video is. But hey, this uses advanced skill trials. I like it. Uh. And I do have some teams that you guys can, we can briefly go over here. So a couple things in the future too, but a couple ideas. So first thing is uh, some position one, Halloween Kimimaru and Niyu Hashirama. Niyu Hashirama breaks, basically Halloween Kimimaru increases the mystery cooldown by two. Um, and then Niyu Hashirama shuts down the standard attacks. Or, I mean, yeah, that is basically a, a basic combo. I put Granger George Shimaru here just, because Howling Kimimaru will increase the damage by these guys mistering. So that'll be fun that you guys can try if you don't have Madara. I mean, you got Granny George Shimaru in the Fuku deals. Toshinashira, Edo Itachi, and Niro Hashirama could be a team. Um, shutting down Mystery Round 1. Um, shutting down Standard Attacks Round two, uh, round 1 as well with Niro Hashirama. Um, you, you also get enough Chakra uh, with Toshinashira because there's a Senjutsu user with Niro Hirzen. So that's 60 Chakra in Round 1. And then Edo Itachi is just like status reflecting people and then uh, extra defense with Earth Moon. That could work, right? Though actually, I cons after I thought about it for a little while, um, I'll probably do this so that Edo Madara hits New, uh, New Year Hirzen instead of Toshinashtura. And if Edo Madara is on this row, then he will probably chase dodge 
I mean, Chase hit um, Earth main so that Toshinashira is not controlled. Uh, that's a probably improved version of that. Also, uh, if you put it through like this, you know, the splash damage from Edo Mater's Mystery, if he does manage to use his Mystery, will be strong. So um, that's why I use that bottom team there, even though that gives less shields when you use your Earth main. Because uh, it's more important to reduce damage coming in than it is to create shields. Because generally speaking, shields, you don't get as much shields. Okay, uh, they also removed my Madara, so... Okay, against another Madara, uh, this is a possible team. Edo Madara, Nier uh, Hirzen. So, Nier Hirzen has a perfect chase with Edo Madara. Edo Madara goes knocked down low. Uh, oh, no, 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 hold on. No, no, yeah. I mean, they have the same chase, but Edo Madara will you, you cause knockdown with his standing attack and his mystery, and so does Nier Hashirama. So, you have a lot of stand, a lot of like control with standard attacks and mysteries and another standard attack with Nier Hears and, and whatever your position 3 is if you use Scott Knockdown. Nagato does cause knockdown so this could happen again. You know, a lot of knockdowns here. Uh, but also, probably like Edo Sasori would work here. If, if you're fighting against another Edo Madara, um, chances are Edo Sasori with that extra buff and that extra... Because, um, you know, the, let's see. If you use your mystery, Edo Madara gains super armor, right? Uh, and your opponent might control you with his chase sometimes. So he suppresses super armor technically, so I guess it depends on who's faster. Okay, just Edo Sorcery could remove your debuffs if it works. Um, New Hirzen might be able to shut it down. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I guess it still be t bases it on speed, who's faster. So Toshin Ashura could work here just to increase your initiative, just to be faster. Um, also causes repulse, which is okay with combo. Um, you can activate Gamakiri with New Hirzen's standing attack or Toshinashira as chase. Uh, just lower their resistance. Yeah, stuff like that could work. Okay, some future stuff we can talk about. Ten Tails, Madara. Um, so apparently some people said they saw from China that Ashura would work with Ten... So I guess you stack Ten Tails Madara increases damage with a lot of its scaling, um, with the standard attacks and with because I think his chase gives extra his extra standard attacks and standard attacks gives him extra attack and ninjutsu bonuses. Also, also uh, lowers his mystery cooldown. Also suppresses immunity. And if um, Nira Hirzen has level two immunity, then everybody or at least Ashra and him will not be able to be controlled. Um, Madara only has level one immunity, but you're, you're stacking him, so control might not work on him. And it's just a lot of um, chases, constant chases. So uh, Ashura's chase increase activates round two. Nier Hirzen activates round one. So it's kind of filling the gap here. And you just got a lot of damage. It could be also for Tento Zobito, I'm sure. Um, yeah, like this is apparently a feature thing with Ashura breakthroughs that you guys can take a look at. Not now, but you do want to start getting Ashura. All right, I thought about Tento Zobito. I thought about like Toshan Shura just increase. Um, you know, remove debuffs again, I guess. Tendo Zobito, Repulse, and Toshin Ashura increases uh, number of chases along with New Hirzen. So if one dies, the other one can still do it. Um, yeah, I mean, just as a typical team, I suppose you could think of. Okay, yeah, this is the this is the team that he finalized at. Uh, New Hirzen, the control right away in round one, standard attacks, I'm, I'm assuming. Ashura, uh, some abilities to stop uh well yeah i'm not 100 percent sure how this team works but apparently it's shown to work in china with his breakthroughs we'll, we'll get to it when we actually go over ashra's breakthroughs uh okay toshan shura with six past naruto yes but you know if you're finding another six new heroes and then it's going to be a stalemate <laughs> if it's six past naruto against six past naruto because you're shutting down their mysteries i mean standard attacks which also reduces the uh also allows them to use their mystery. Okay, yeah, this is what I was talking about with Sorcery, and this is Toshanstra. Okay, so those are some teams. Uh, we'll probably try a team here and there in the arena, but it's going to be different outside of arena, of course. All right, let's get into the skill trials. Devalue, discarded, the cycle you've restarted. You always think you're above. Now I'm left here, heart torn, cold nights seem to always run from the love. 
Cause you split right down the middle You talk a lot but you say nothing Yeah, your mind is like a riddle Gives me goosebumps, you keep me shivering Oh, I can keep on forever, forever You waste my time, say you change for the best you split right down the middle And all your lies come surfacing Yeah, all my life You've been split right down the middle
You know those words, they hurt me You found out what made me angry Then use it to your ability Now you're trying to avoid me You're the big problem here A bully to many for so many years Now shut your mouth, close your ears Never learned your lesson and nobody cares That's what you're here for You hurt me and do it all over again